Hey, I'm Nick Seward, and uh, I designed and built Simpson. You can see him over here. Uh, he's taking a break now. Uh, he uh, just got back from Maker Fair in Kansas City, and he had a pretty good uh, showing. Um, but uh, as awesome as Simpson has been for me, um, I'm even more excited about uh, the RepRap Wally. Here you can see a, um, a rendering of, of how Wally will look. It'll, it'll, it'll be a lot different than this when I actually get to making it uh, as I make changes here and there. Um, but the real basic idea is that, um, that everything's mounted on a wall, there's no linear rails, and um, it uses much, much less uh, plastic and, um, and bearings than um, than Simpson does and will have faster speeds, better resolution, all the things that you really want in a printer. I think this would be uh, this is going to be the perfect desktop printer where uh, Simpson is going to be really awesome for uh, really large scale outdoor um, printing. Uh, just uh, just so you guys know, um, this has been a collaborative effort um, um, with uh, many people on the RepRap forum. Um, uh, Dennis uh, is, is, is probably the main one. Uh, he, uh, he pretty much collected all the information and formed this cohesive design. I've taken the MCAT and, and ran with it and hopefully I'll be able to build it here soon. Um, a lot of people are, are wondering how the, uh, the arms connect together. Uh, here you can see a picture and you can see a bunch of holes and, and I haven't actually drawn anything in. Um, I actually made, um, you can probably see here, I made the, um, the arms, um, well, just, just the end parts of them. Um, this is called a double lamina compliant mechanism, and uh, basically what it is is uh, um, string, it goes in a figure eight pattern back and forth through helical holes here, and as you turn one arm, it moves the other. And so um, here I will uh, I will move one up and it and it moves the other one up and then you can move it back down. I'm holding the stub arm and keeping it stationary and, and both these arms mirror each other. It's essentially like having uh, two spur gears um, at the end here, but not ha I don't have to worry about backlash. Um, I'm going to change the setup a little bit so I can have uh, I can I can just have a few screws I can tighten down to. Uh, to tension this up, the uh, helical holes ended up being a horrible idea. Uh, in that, I uh, I had to thread the string through there, but these um, these holes, um, you know, were printed, so it it wasn't a smooth um, smooth sailing through there with the string. Um, big shout out to Ilian uh, Bonev. Um, he's a um, Canadian um, robot roboticist, and he. Uh, he uh, on the forums he uh, linked me into a um, a French paper uh, on on the double lamina compliant mechanism and um, it was perfect for this application. Um, it's superior in every way to uh, spur gear, except for uh, it only has a limited range of motion here. You know, no friction. Um, well, h hardly any friction. Uh, no backlash, um, but it has limited range of motion. But for this application, it's uh, ideal. Um, so, um, as you can see, I'm already moving forward quite a bit with Wally's design. Uh, unfortunately, all these parts I just printed out uh, are going to have to be reprinted, um, but that's no big deal. Um, it only took about uh, an evening, about six hours, to, to do all of this. So that's no big deal. Um, a lot of people look at the design and think it's uh, too massive, and um, uh, the 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 bolts and the bearings weigh more than all this plastic weighs. Uh, very low infill. Um, I'm using 20, but you could use um, you could use 10 and probably get away with it. Um, I've tried to to bend it with my hands and I can't. Um, I grab both sides here and um, try to tweak back and forth up and down. Um, you can probably see just a little bit but I'm putting tons of twerk on this and, uh, and th whenever I'm printing something it's going to be light and wispy and um, it shouldn't be an issue. Um, I should have hardly any sag. Um, I've, 
I put this in a vise and um, and then pressed at the end and um, for any reasonable force that a 3d printer will actually have um, it's not a it's not a measurable displacement um, so everything's looking like it's gonna fall into uh, fall into place um, I could probably experiment with making these arms a lot thinner um, but I don't know if I will um, they work um, they're a nice dimension they're 25 millimeters by 25 millimeters cross-section um, so it's a it's a nice nice measurement um, and all the arms are the same some of them are gonna be way overkill but uh, again it's not very much plastic so um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna run with it and see what happens um, and I think that's about it. Um, so stay tuned. Um, I'm hoping in the next couple of weeks we'll actually have a, a prototype together and I'll do some first moves. Uh, probably won't be printing with Wally for uh, two, three weeks for sure. Um, the, uh, the math is horrendous. Uh, the inverse kinematics. If anybody out there wants to take a stab at the inverse kinematics, uh, go for it. Um, I am actually, um, I might look at it a little bit more, but I actually think I might have, a, I might be able to more quickly solve for the uh, coordinate transformation by actually using numeric um, approximations and, uh, and, and do, uh, do root solving. So I'm going to, um, I'm going to try it both ways, see what I can do. Um, currently Simpson uses, uh, does all the coordinate transformations um, before it sends it to the firmware, and that's uh, that's working um, pretty well. Um, Simpson all the, has very simple math, and uh, I'm going to move it all to firmware because that makes sense. But for Wally, it's not going to be a uh, reality for the next couple of years. The the math is just too horrendous unless somebody points out something that I missed. Um, so my my plan is uh, to maybe mod um, Slicer where as I produce G code it will just um, put it through the filter and so it'll produce you know as, as far as everybody else is concerned it'll just you know run like like any other normal printer but you have to have the specific slicer for Wally -E. um, but I think I think that'll be a pretty easy mod um, make it easy. Um, that's that's pretty much it. Um, go check out the forums. Um, it's pretty interesting to see it evolve. It's evolving pretty fast. So um, thanks for watching.